Your face. Guitar tabs, guitar lesson. Okay, so this would be a standard tuning, E A D G B E. And a lot of this E major 7 vibe, uh, especially with this intro and slash bridge section. And we start off just kind of like a clean tone, you know, get some like reverb on there, that's cool. Uh, but we're doing this E major 7, so we'll do an open low E, 7A, 9D, 8G. And it's just this like shuffling kind of basic strum just one two three da 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 that type of feel all right just shuffling through uh we carry that out you know a couple measures and with this intro um basically we just keep that same shape but we make the open e we just lift over and make it a nine so we get that b on top of it on the low e here and it's just kind of a one, two, three at the end. All right, now for this second part of the intro, uh, this kind of is, is similar to uh, like a, the pre-chorus that comes up for a little bit. Um, we kick on a bit of overdrive, get a little you know heavier with it, and it's that same chord and the same kind of strumming style. Uh, but at the end, instead of just kind of like including that that B bass note there, instead of doing that, uh, we just kind of like pick through part of that B power chord. So uh, easy way I like to do it is just kind of take our shape we have here from that E major, drop it down, and we'll have a 4A, 6D now. And we just pick between them. We go 4A, 6D, 4A. And that's kind of how we cap it off. We go through that a couple times. There's a second guitar that's doing some kind of cool like lead bends over the top of it. Just here on the G string, we're hitting that eight. That's part of that chord. And we just hit it, hit it again, give it a nice slow bend and release, then come off to six. Do that again, but then after the second time, we throw in this nine on the B. For the verse, everything gets a little more like chilled out again, you know, kick the overdrive off. And we start with our same E major seven chord. But here we just do like a couple measures of it. And you can either shuffle it or just kind of do like straight up like quarter note strums if it's, you know, you're singing or something and want it easier. It's up to you. All right, then we move to this A flat minor shape. So just um, barring the four, hit the six on the A and D, get that four G, and we give it a couple strums. And if you want to get real fancy with it, there's some uh, real subtle other notes happening where you could hit like the seven B with it. Right. And you know, you can like sacrifice that six on the uh, D to get that if you want. And then 
maybe like throw in like an open high E. Stuff like that going on. Okay, up to you. And uh, then we'll just drop down for this D flat suspended second. So we'll start just kind of hitting the power chord of it, the 4A, 6D and G. But then we can start including like the 4B. And if you incidentally hit like a four high E, not a big deal. And we would just go through those uh, three chords like that. You know, the D sus, that last one kind of holds twice as long as the other two. And at the end of all that, we do this little scale down where G string will be nine, then nine D, then we go eight G, six D, and then just go four, six D gets right into the pre-chorus and chorus section. All right, back with the uh, kind of overdriven pre-chorus, reminiscent of that second part of the intro, starting with that uh, E major seven, then we do our little four, six, four. All right, but then we move to a, a new chord, um, A flat sus two, so we go four, E, six, A and reach over and grab that eight on the D. And if that's too much of a stretch, you could try something like this, where we go like four E, uh, six A, kind of using like the middle and pinky there. And then instead of having to hit that eight D, we'll just hit the three on the G. Kind of silencing the, the D string. So if, if that makes it easier, you could do that. Uh, for me, I don't mind stretching, so I kind of like the, the four, six, and eight. So uh, strumming out that A flat sus two. And after that, we do kind of a higher little scale where we zoom up and hit the nine A, 11 D, and then I just kind of bar it so then I can hit the nine B as well. All right, and we cruise through uh, the whole thing again, all the way up until just before we would do that little high scale again, but instead of doing that the second time, we drop down and we hit this big compounded B power chord, a couple like dead strings before it, but then we go one, two, three, by hitting the, the two A, throw in that extra F sharp on top with the two below E, and then the four on the D and G, and it's just a one, two, three. Gets us in, into the chorus there. For the chorus, just kick it off with a big A power chord, so 5 E, 7 on the A and D. 1, 2, 3, 4, a couple times. Off to our E major 7, and with this we do like a couple strums, dead strings, strum back into it, shuffle a little bit. Something like that. Uh, do the A power chords again. And then we go to the that D flat sus two from the uh, previous section, the verse, the four A, six D and G, four B. And it's kind of that same deal. A couple strums, dead strings, strum, let it ring. And you know, the final chorus, we just kind of loop from there. 